So I had a girl this morning email me. She said that I feel like the Lord isn't with me right now. I feel like I've been abandoned by the Lord. And there's, there's a reason why. And I quoted to her Acts 17, 28, which says that in him, we live and move and have our being. We are right now in the presence of God. He's the creator and therefore he is outside of his creation, but he is also imminent in it. Think of a, a painting. The painting, the, the creator is outside of that painting, but at the same time, he's detailed every bit of that painting. He is working on it and he's working in each and every one of our lives. And I told her that he has not removed himself from you. What we do is we remove ourselves from the Lord and we distance ourselves because of something that's going on in our life. And it's never intentional. We don't intentionally, I'm talking about believers, say, I don't want you around anymore. It's just that we get sidetracked with life. And this is what happens. And because of that, we have this, this, this separation between us and God, which shouldn't be there. And all we need to do, what I told her is probably the best thing to do at that time. And it's the most unnatural thing in the world is when you're feeling separated from God is to simply praise God. Take your eyes off of yourself and your own situation and give God the praise that he is due. And I said, a very good equivalent of what you're in right now is being violently ill. And if you've ever been violently ill, like you're, you're throwing up time and time again, it's almost impossible to praise God at that time. But if you can come to yourself and realize that this is what he is due, even in this time of distress, then you are giving him a praise that is beyond a sacrifice. It's called the sacrifice of praise in the Bible, but he understands that it is against our very nature. And I said, try to do this. Try to praise him even in your difficulties, and I'm sure that he will reward you for this. I'm going to back up a little bit. It says in verse 5, we were dead in trespasses and sins. This is our life from the moment we're born until the moment that we accept Jesus Christ. Just make a line with your, with your mind. You're going across. You're dead. Okay, and then he says, by grace, he made us alive together with Christ. That's the moment that you accept Jesus Christ positionally. Right now, you, if you have called on Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, positionally, you are in Jesus Christ and you are sitting with him in heaven. You talk about eternal salvation, that verse right there is it. He will never cast you out of the place that he gave his life to bring you into. So when you're having these doubts and your trials in your life, remember, the moment you're saved, he has seated you with him positionally in the heavenly places.